I'd like to introduce Elizabeth from Scotland, who takes LDM for fibromyalgia. Good evening, Good evening, Elizabeth. Could I ask, when were you diagnosed with fibromyalgia? In October last year. And how old were you? Um, I was 69. And had you been noticing any pain leading up to diagnosis? No, I hadn't really. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you've been very lucky. Um, before you found LDN, what was your symptoms like? Well, I'd been on holiday in Greece and I came back feeling like fluey. I didn't feel right from I came back. And there had been um, an, a, an outbreak of Legionnaire's disease. And when I came back, my doctor was testing me for that because I had all the symptoms of Legionnaire's disease. But when it came back, my, the test results showed that I didn't have that, that I had fibromyalgia. So I was like um, tired and achy, like flu-like constantly and no energy. And I'm normally a hyperactive person, so I found it, very, it slowed me down tremendously. I do have quite a lot of aches and pains with it, but um, I'm not getting ordinary drugs and... Um, my doctor put me on to this uh, alternative drug. Okay. So if you were to have rated your quality of life before you started LDN on a score of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, what would it have been? About 6, 7, somewhere in there. And what would you say it is now? Pardon? What would you say it is now? Oh no, that's oh no. I mean, now I would say it's at six, seven. Then I felt quite poorly. Um, I felt a bit nine, nine and a half. I felt quite low. But uh, uh, hang on a minute. No, nine is high. One oh, is right, low. Sorry then. Yeah. I felt about three, four. Right. Okay. And, and I feel now about you've... seven now, seven, eight. Okay, got gotcha. you. So your own doctor prescribed it for you, did he? Yes. Yeah, oh, that was very lucky, wasn't it? Uh, my doctor's very into um, drugs and alternative medicines, and actually it's on the computer. It's one Tom Gohuli. When I looked up LA, my illness and I looked up the, on my computer the LDN, my doctors or one of the doctors who put a report on it from Scotland. So unfortunately, I think having the GP that I have. Right, okay. So when you first started LDN, did you notice any side effects? Um, no, but when I, I started on one, and I take five milligrams a day, but he told me just keep, to keep increasing it till I felt right, and I went on to six, and when I went on to six milligrams, I felt quite unwell, and I contacted him, and he told me to put it back to five. Mm -hmm. So I've been a bit apprehensive about trying it again to go up a wee bit in case I, I get any other side effects. So what symptoms do you have now you're on the LDN? Have they all gone or have you still got... No, I still have, well, I'm still um, a bit achy, um, but I feel a lot better than I did before I went on it. Mm -hmm. What would you say to other people with fibromyalgia who are contemplating trying LDN? Sorry, could you, sorry? What would you say to other people with fibromyalgia who are thinking of trying Well, I'm LDN? actually my hairdresser had just been diagnosed and, and she said, there's nothing for this, and I wrote it all down for her. I said, go back to your GP, and you can't buy it in the counter, you can't get it in your local pharmacy. Your doctor, and I have to get it from a special chemist. The pharmacy sends it to my home. I can't pick it up in any chemist. And uh, I said, and it's not every doctor, I think, that would know about this. So I've, I've advised her, and I would advise anybody else to try it, because it's... Uh, I think the way my doctor described it, the government haven't funded it because they look at the illnesses that are related to it as, um, I, I don't know how, they look at like, like um, MS and these things. They don't really describe them. Or, the government haven't taken enough or won't spend the money on it sort of thing. So this is a, a sort of up to the hands of your, your GP whether you go in this or not. And there's nothing else that seems to work for it. Mm -hmm. Or there's nothing mm -hmm. else I know available. So you, you're feeling a lot better than you were? Yes, I am. Good. And has that made you, your mood feel brighter? Yes. Good. 
thank you very much for sharing your experience with us. I really appreciate it. That's okay. Thank you for helping other people. people.